Welcome to my new knitting channel. My name is Lacey and I'd like to do some knitting tutorials. So today I'm going to do a washcloth tutorial. Washcloth. Woo! Washcloth. This is for beginners who want to learn how to knit. You will learn the basics of knitting. The cast on, the knit stitch, and the bind off. There are four things that you'll need for this tutorial. A ball of cotton yarn, a pair of knitting needles, you'll need size US 8 or 9, a pair of scissors, and a tapestry needle. So here we go. I'm going to start with the slip knot and the long tail cast on. So you want to go to the craft store and pick up a ball of cotton yarn. Uh, there are lots of different brands. I am using Burnett Deluxe. Uh, anything that's 100% cotton. If you have a hard time finding some cotton and you're at a craft store like Joann's or Michael's, there should be somebody there to help you find some cotton yarn. So yeah, get some cotton yarn, get some knitting needles. I am using Takumi by Clover. It's US size 8. Um, you can use size 8 or 9. I'm using 8. So um, I'm going to start with the long tail cast on. It's my favorite cast on because it works for it works for so many different projects and it's it's nice and stretchy and it looks good so that's what we're going to learn today. So take a length of yarn for your long tail cast on. You will need a long tail. Um, for this washcloth we're going to cast on 30 stitches so um, let's get started with that. First thing you need to do is make a slip knot. So grasp your yarn with your long tail out here with your in index finger and thumb in both hands and wrap it around your left finger like so. It makes a little, make a little X on your finger here. And then what you want to do is you can grab the left side of that X on the top with your, with your thumb and pull the right side out to make a little loop. Then you want to take this strand behind here and press it towards your loop and grab this little strand that's in the, so here's your loop. You want to grab this strand through the loop and pull it tight. And here's your slip knot. Then you want to take your knitting needle and put it through that loop, just like that. Hold on to it and take this yarn and pull it tight. You don't want it so tight that it won't slide gently on the, across the needle. So, okay, and then here's your tail. Here's your tail. You want to drape. The next part of this is actually casting on stitches. You want to drape this tail across your thumb and the working yarn. The working yarn is the yarn that's attached to your ball of yarn. Uh, you want to drape that over your index finger and then grab both of those ends in your fingers down here. And hold pretty tight to that. Pretty tight onto those. You don't want them... Uh, you want to get some nice leverage there. So basically what we're essentially doing is pivoting our hands back and forth like this as we cast on stitches. You want to take this needle and go underneath this leg of this loop that's on your thumb. So you've got a loop on your thumb here. You want to go underneath that first loop that's growing, going across your thumb. Pivot your hand around and wrap this back strand around your needle. Pivot your hand back to where it was before and put your needle through the loop that's on your thumb. Drop that loop off of your thumb. You can put your finger back in, your thumb back in here and pull that tight. And there's your second stitch. And that is pretty much all you're doing for the long tail cast on. So I'll show you that again. Underneath this leg of the loop Put your hand, wrap the back strand around the needle, push it through that loop on your thumb, drop that loop, and pull it tight. Not too tight, remember, you want your needles, your stitches to slide pretty easily around your needle. Just snug. And that's it, and you keep going until you've got 30 stitches on your needle. So we're going to do this again slow. 
underneath, around, through, drop that loop, and pull tight. There you go. And then you just keep going until you've got 30 stitches. I'm going to go quick here just to show you that once you get the hang of this, it goes by pretty quick. So now you've got 30 stitches on your needle, and you've just learned the long tail cast on. Yay! Now let's learn the knit stitch. Alright, we've got all of these pretty stitches cast on. Let's put it in our left hand. All these stitches should, uh, all the needle with all the stitches on it should be in your left hand. So I like to grab it like that with my back two fingers and just rest it on my hand here. Beep, beep, just like that. And with these three fingers, I just grab the front so I can guide stitches along. I take my right hand needle, the one that's empty, and I'm going to put it through this first stitch. And how I do that is I go from left to right through the stitch. And I make a little X with my needles, and the right hand needle should be at the back. And then we're going to wrap our working yarn, which is the yarn that's attached to the ball of yarn. We're going to wrap that around the back needle counterclockwise. Okay? Then we want to push that needle through the loop on the left hand needle, pulling up a new loop of yarn with that yarn that you just wrapped and pull it off separate your needles, effectively pulling the stitch off of your needle. And that's your first stitch. And you just keep going like that all the way across the row. So we're going to do this again from left to right through the stitch on the left hand needle. Wrap it counterclockwise and pull up the new stitch through the old one and pull the old stitch off of the left hand needle. And there you have it. And just keep going like that. Keep in mind that this first row to knit can be a little tricky because these stitches might be a little tight, especially if you're new. Um, and you just want to um, make sure that you're not forcing it too hard or pulling it too hard because then you might drop a stitch or um, split a stitch or something like that and those are not fun to have to mess around with so and you just keep going like that left to right make an X wrap it around push it through and pull it off and you just keep going Knitting is supposed to be relaxing and fun, so try not to get too stressed out. Should be fun. If you drop a stitch, oh no, I dropped a stitch. So the nice thing about cotton is that it pretty much keeps its shape, so all you have to do is take your needle and put that stitch back on your needle. And fixed. Yay! No big deal. Then you just keep going. Keep wrapping your needle. And you knit all the way to the end of the row.
look at that. It's the first row of knitting. So to keep going, you put this needle into your left hand that's got all the stitches on it, put it in your left hand, and you take the empty needle in your right hand, and you start again. Left to right, through that stitch, and just keep going. Okay, so one thing I want to tell you about as I'm knitting along here is that it doesn't matter how you hold this yarn. You can hold it in your right hand, and uh, that's usually called throwing. So you're throwing your yarn around the back needle. Or you can knit with your left hand, you just want to make sure that when you're doing the knit stitch that your yarn is always coming off the back of your work. So I'm not so good with, knit, with knitting with my left hand, but I just want to show you guys how it's done. So same thing, left to right, wrap that needle with the yarn and pull it through the stitch on the left needle. And that is usually called picking, or it's called, um, I believe it's called continental. Um, if you're left-handed, then this might be a good idea for you to try. Just sliding those stitches down and scooching those ones on the left hand towards the tip. And you just keep going, just like I showed you before. Only I'm not so comfortable knitting with my left hand, so I'm gonna go back to knitting with my right hand. It real this is how I wrap my hand, wrap my hand with my working yarn. It really doesn't matter as long as you get that back needle, as long as you get your right needle wrapped, and it goes through the stitch on the left hand needle and ends up on the right. However you're comfortable. There's no there's no wrong way to hold this yarn as you're knitting. You just do it how you're comfortable. There's another way. Let's see how I don't. There we go. There we go. And just switch that to the left, put that over on the right. Now let's bind off. Okay, so I've got to a point where I want to bind off. I need to get rid of all these stitches um, because this looks square to me. I think it's square. If I want to test it, I'm going to fold this over and it looks, that's pretty much even. Cool. It's square. It's a washcloth. Sweet! So I want to get rid of all these stitches. I can't just pull my needle out of there because then all of these stitches are going to unravel and you will be sad because there will be no more washcloth. Sad. So we want to bind them off or cast them off. There's different ways that people say it. I call it a bind off. So how we're going to do that is we're going to start just like we're starting a normal knit row, but we're going to take away stitches one at a time. 
So what we want to do is knit this first stitch. Very good. And now we have one stitch on the right hand needle. So we want to knit one more stitch so that we've got two stitches on the right hand needle. And we're going to decrease that to one stitch. So how we're going to do that is we're going to take this first stitch that we knit. We're going to put our left hand needle underneath this loop here, underneath the stitch. And we're going to hold on right here. And we're going to slide this all the way down to the end. I'm going to pick up this stitch and put it over the second stitch that we knit. And take our left needle off. And there we have bound off one stitch. So this looks like pretty much how we started with one stitch, so we need to get another stitch on there. Knit one more stitch, and then stick your needle into that first stitch, and slide it towards the end, put your needle through there, and put that new stitch on the needle. And that's how we bind off. We just keep going like that. We want two stitches on the right hand needle. I'm going to take this stitch here, put our needle underneath that loop, pull it over the next stitch, and pull that stitch through, and drop that loop off of the needle. And we just keep going until we have one stitch left. So let's keep going just like that. Oops, that didn't work. There we go. That worked. So keep going. And I'm going to speed it up here just till we get to the end. So I can show you how we finish this off. Okay, so we're down to our last couple stitches here. And one more stitch over here. I do just like before. Find it off. Okay, so now there are no more stitches on this needle. Hooray! And there is only one stitch left here. So what you should do pull that out just a little bit so you know it's not going to fall off and then you want to grab your scissors and take this yarn take your working yarn cut it and then you want to put your finger in this loop or two fingers, whatever. Pull this tail through that loop and tighten it. And you have here a washcloth. Now let's weave in the ends. Okay, so now I want to show you how to weave in these tail ends. You've got a tail end from your cast on and a tail end from when you bound off. So I'm going to flip this over to the wrong side. I know this is the right side because I've got this pretty little cast on it, so I'm going to flip this over and get started weaving in this end because you don't want this hanging out while you're cleaning stuff. <laughs> it'll get in the way and it'll be annoying. So you're going to need one of these things. This is called a tapestry needle or a yarn needle. Lots of people call it different things. It's basically a big sewing needle with this blunt end here. That does not hurt. Eee. It's a blunt end 
You will find these at any craft store, Joann's, Michael's. If you want to go to your local yarn shop and support them, that would be awesome. So how we're going to do this, we're going to thread our tapestry needle. And I just lay that over the top of the eye of the needle, slide out my eye, and push that through the hole. Pull it on, and there you have threaded your tapestry needle. And we're ready to go. So what we want to do basically is we're going to weave this tail in and out, in and out, in and out of these little bumps here. So I'm going to get this thread to the back side here. And I'm just going to push this through and pull it out. Okay, I'm going to go through this bump here. Okay, so look at these bumps. There is a little bump here that looks like a little U. And there's a little bump here that looks like a little N. U, N, U, N, U, N, U, N, U, N. I'm going to use those to basically make this an invisible weave. I'm going to go through this N and through this U on the row above it and pull my yarn through there. Now right next to where my yarn is coming out I have this N. I want to skip over that N and go point my needle down and go through this U up here and then go through this N down here. Push my needle all the way through. And that way, as if you can watch carefully, this yarn goes right alongside this little end bump right here. And then we're just going to go and basically do the same thing over here. We're going to go through this end and back through that first U you went through. Back up there and then this yarn is going to curve around on that U there. Ta-da! And then you just do that a few more times. I'm going to do, I usually do three or four times. U and N. Around. And down and pull that through. N and then the old U that I went through. Other side. Keep going. Pull that through, and that's about four times. And as you can see, you can hardly tell where I just wove that in. So I'm going to take my scissors oop, and cut that off. And just kind of mess with it, stretch it a little bit. And there you have a woven in end. So how about I just go and flip this over? and do the other side here. This is where I bound off. So I will thread my tapestry needle. Got the eye here. Close it over top and pinch it. And push that through there. And I have threaded my tapestry needle. So I'm going to get this yarn through to this side. Pull it pretty tight so it makes a nice little edge there. And let's see, I'm going to go through this end and this U. Get it away from this bound off edge there. Go that way. So I'm going to, I want to curve around here, so I'm going to go through this U and this end underneath. And pull that tight. And then I'm going to go next to it into this end and up through that same U and pull it tight. A couple more times. And pull it tight. And that's pretty good. That's pretty much invisible. You can't even really tell unless you're really, really, really looking at it that and there you have it nice washcloth to use 
You can make these in all different colors. I have a bunch. There's a cool blue one. Nice plain white one. A red one. And a purple one. And then I also have one in this other tealy color I was working in for. Yay! Washcloths! I hope you get some good use out of this washcloth. Please click like and subscribe. Let me know if there's something that you want to learn. I want to know what you want to know. Put a comment in the comment section and I will try to comment back and I'll try to make more knitting tutorials based on what you want to know. Thanks for watching. Happy knitting.